generosity. It should. What drives you now as a pastor? If you could just hit on that, what you what are you really passionate about? And what drives you? And then number two, in your opinion, why would Revised Church be a good church for people to visit? In your opinion, because there's a lot of churches out there. Yeah, there's there's a lot of churches out there. Let's let's come to that part second. Okay, so what drives me right now is one thing to passionately pursue Jesus Christ. Philippians three says, Paul said. What was his driving ambition? Why was he the great apostle Paul that shared with so many that, quite honestly, you and I are sitting here because of that man's ministry mm -hmm. today. Um, uh, it, it's found in Philippians 3. He says that I may know mm -hmm. him, Christ, and the fellowship of his suffering and, and the power of his resurrection. And so passionately knowing Jesus Christ is my primary objective. Now there's, a, there's some enabling objectives. Um, uh, if you and I are gonna passionately know Christ, um, that's going to give us stability mm -hmm. to live in a broken world, to live with people around us who are making bad decisions, to to see the horrible things that we see on the news. Uh, we have to have depth in our life, and mm -hmm. that comes through knowing Jesus Christ. So that's, that's the reason I read my Bible. That's why I got up this morning and read the book of James. Amen. and mm -hmm. That's the reason I pray, and that's the reason I go to church. I go to church when I'm on vacation, mm -hmm. when I'm not even preaching. Why? Because I need the fellowship Amen. of the saints. Right. I need the preaching of the Word of God in my life. Um, I'm in a small group Bible study. I, I meet with guys and, and pray with them, and they mm -hmm. pray for me. Why? Because I'm just a follower of Jesus, too. Right, amen. So Jesus gives us depth. And then from that, I want to encourage every Christian, you need some goals in life, and they need to be written down. You need spiritual goals. You need financial goals. You need, um, uh, I think you need exercise goals. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're the exercise mm -hmm. expert. Uh, you're the king. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but what I've found is those same disciplines in the physical life are the same disciplines we need in the spiritual life so that we can be strong in our faith. Uh, as far as revived church, you know, there's lots of great churches in the, in the Twin Cities. Um, but but what, I, what I tell people is um, uh, come and visit and, and God will lead you and he's going to lead you to the, to the church he wants you to be at. But what you're going to find there is a group of people who are passionately pursuing Jesus Christ. We're not perfect we got a perfect savior his name is jesus christ mm -hmm. and uh if you want to join the journey with us uh we just we just we're just excited to see people come mm -hmm. we're excited to see people change i mean to see um husbands loving their wives wives Amen. loving their husbands mm -hmm. couples raising their Amen. children would you consider revised to be a, a diverse diverse church oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. we're a we're a, a multi-ethnic church uh uh, we've got lots of friends that have come from other parts of the world, uh, Kenya, Liberia, um, uh, South Africa. Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, one of our worship pastors, he's, he's uh, South African <laughs> and has only been in the U.S. for about 10 years. Uh, but just a great man of God. Amen. And it's so neat to see uh, people come together from yep. all over the globe to Amen. worship the Lord Amen. Jesus. And folks, by the way, I do go to Revised Church, but I wanted to hear the pastor talk about it because a lot of times, you know, I'm, I'm there as, as a person waiting for membership to open yeah, up, yeah. but I love it. I love the diversity, but I wanted to just hear it from your lips. Yeah. In the next 30 seconds, what could you just say? Could you just maybe pray over, over the people viewing Absolutely. our show? I appreciate that. Absolutely. Father, I just pray for all of our friends who are listening right now. I pray that you would show yourself strong on their behalf. I pray that the Spirit of God would stir their hearts and um, that they might come to know Jesus Christ as their Savior. I pray that they would remember the passage that's already been quoted where Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Father, I just pray that you would draw us to yourself, bless my friends, give them grace, peace, and joy. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen. Thank you. Amen, Ron. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Folks at home, you've been watching Motivation. I'm Ron Henderson, a.k.a. The Fitness King, with my guest, Pastor Mark Henry of Rev Revised Church in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Amen. It's been a pleasure in all that you do. Stay blessed, stay fit, and stay motivated. We're going to catch you next time on Motivation. Amen. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. All right. To book Ron Henderson for your next event, call 612-386-8178 or send an email to ron at fitnessking.com. That's ron at fitnessking.com.